When an atom of element is heated, its electron gain and absorb energy. The electron is promoted from its lowest energy level to higher energy level. The electron is said to be excited. An excited electron is unstable, thus it falls back to lower energy level to gain stability while losing energy in form of photon. In metal ion, the jumps of electron from ground state involve very high energies and this result in line in UV part of the spectrum which your eyes cannot see. The jumps that you see in flame fast come from electron falling from higher energy level to a lower energy level in the metal atoms. In the hot flame, some metal ions begin the electron to form a neutral metal atom, again which gives rise to the flame color of the element. For this experiment, we are going to use elements from group 1 which is from lithium to potassium and group 2 which is from magnesium to barium. The apparatus and material used in this experiment are Take lithium chloride using spatula and put it into the petri dish. Pour diluted hydrochloric acid into a 50 ml beaker. Dip nichrome wire in the hydrochloric acid to clean it. Like the Bunsen burner. Heat the nichrome wire until blue flame seem to clean it. Take lithium chloride solid from the petri dish using nichrome wire. Then heat it at the edge of the Bunsen burner flame. Observe the color of flame produced. Repeat step 2 to 5 with different types of compounds. Lithium will produce a red flame. Sodium will produce an orange flame. Potassium will produce a lilac flame. Magnesium will produce a colorless flame. Calcium will produce a brick red flame. Strontium will produce a crimson red flame. Barium will produce a pale green flame. When lithium is heated, a red flame color is formed. The red region of flame contains high proportion of excited electrons releasing energy that correspond to the red range of the visible light spectrum. When magnesium is heated, colorless flame is formed because the red flame produced is out of range in visible light spectrum.